Okay, so I decided to do a lot of uh, official reviews recently. I did uh, Beast Wars Spitto, I've done uh, Sideburn, and I thought, let's do something I know I haven't reviewed. I know I haven't reviewed. And I'm really regressing it now, but fine, let's, let's do it. So we're going to review Dark of the Moon Leader Class Sentinel Prime. Yeah, it's going to be that kind of video. Um... This is not really a bad figure. It's just going to fight with me a lot. So we have this big, and apparently there are really fire trucks of this design. I'm not sure where they're from, but you know. It's got a little water tap thing at the front. The water tank crane arm will move all the will move all the way around you know the nozzles and whatnot uh has big button because things and it's quite nice and i seem to remember there being a couple of panels that would open is this open there you go it's a panel and there's nothing in there i don't know what that's supposed to be is that water gauges something like that and there's a panel here which should open somehow up or down, I can't remember. Up, up. That also has nothing in it. I'm sure there used to be panels that actually had things in, but all right, whatever. And it's an absolute brick. It's an absolute beast of a thing. Let's have a look at the size comparison to those Legacy Dragstra. Uh, Wild Rider. Ah, I keep doing that who could quite easily fit on top of him. So I don't know if they're actually in scale. That's a lazy eyebrow comment, but, you know, I don't think he watches my stuff. We're all good. Okay. And yes, it's a bit dusty and stuff, and I haven't brushed it, and I'm an idiot, but it's fine, it's fine. So how do we transform this? I don't remember. Okay, uh, first thing is first, we're going to come to this, and underneath we have the shield, and it plugs in. Uh, give me a sec. There are these two tabs, is it, or is it these two tabs? I think it's these two tabs. They go into the sides of the knees there. I say the sides of the knees like you shouldn't, you know, like you should know, but if you look underneath, that's the crotch, they should be the knees. So that's the shield, we'll look at that later. If we wiggle this piece, all the panels will pop loose, and trust me, they will want to pop loose. That's the worst part of this transformation. Well, one of the worst parts of this transformation is trying to get all these panels to line up. If we bring this up, underneath here, we have his sword, which just goes on here into that hole. Just goes on there. There you go. And we'll take that off and throw it over there. Okay. Now the fun begins. Um, we're going to take that nozzle and just fold it up. And you can completely leave that nozzle in. You don't need to move it ever. But, you know. We're going to untab this piece. This panel here has two holes for two pegs. Okay. We're going to get this black piece. And it should pop loose, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I jumping the gun or something? I don't. There are a lot of pieces that need to basically come separated. You need to separate a lot of pieces from each other. Uh, so, I'll try and get this side piece, fold it loose. I think this black bit is supposed to peg into one of those. Uh, like it is on this side. And I failed to do that. But we'll get it loose and we'll pop it loose. Okay. Okay. And we need to... So I'm sure we need to separate that. There we go. Separate that. There we go. And I believe this needs to come out from here as well. There you go. We'll bring that out of the way. Bring this from here and out of the way. Okay. Like I say, this is a bit of a nightmare. And what we need to do, boys and girls, is these are the hands. Uh, and the arms, and we need to get these loose and get these out. Come on. 
And then we can basically separate this whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fold the wheel out, fold the wheel out, and bring these pieces forward. Yeah, bring these pieces forward. That forward. That gives us... There, it's done. What do you think? Yeah. Need to... Give me a second, I believe. Unpeg the arms. Bring them out to the side. Unpeg the arm. There's a little black clippy thing here that goes onto this. Each side. Put it out to the side. Pull it up and... Not sure if it clips on yet, but we're going to rotate these around, organize it so it's like that, and we'll just kind of uh, leave it out of the way for now, okay? I'm just trying to sort out kibble and stuff so it's out of the way. So we're going to get this, so the black piece is extended, extended out the back with that off there, fold it down, and rotate the shoulder. Oh. Are you getting sick of this yet? Yeah? Okay, let's bring this up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Need to get this front piece loose. Yes, I think. Yes, maybe, somehow. There you go. Get that off. Which allow us to bring these pieces out. And they should extend all the way up to there. Get this loose and extend all the way up to that. I keep looking at the camera every now and then to see if you can actually see what I'm doing. Fold these inside. Fold these inside. Yes, they had that attention to detail. And now we need to get that out of the way. Rotate the head up and into place. Okay. This all just sort of folds up and collapses collapses into itself. Does that go inside there? I believe so. Oh, this is hard work. Okay. Alright, okay, okay. Bring it down, and I believe this little notch here goes into that gap there. Can you see that? Bring it down, put that notch into there, bring that up on top. Uh, bring that over, and this should, I believe, grip around all this, and Hold on to those, so I don't know if I've got this wrong. It doesn't seem to want to go there. So. Uh, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. Is this supposed to go under that? Ah, okay, there you go. That's plugged on, that's plugged on. This pal comes off. Uh, I don't know what you do with the wheels. Let's get the wheel out of the way. This comes around. And why isn't that working out? What have I done wrong? Ah, this is wrong. This is wrong. Okay. Bring this round. There's a tiny little slot there. Where my thumb is there. That goes onto this little notch there. Yep, there. Around goes on to there. Fold, fold, fold. Everything should fold. The wheels go. Sorry, this is just really fiddly. Get the wheel out of the way. Fold that under. Bring the wheel up. Something like that. Bring this up into place. Fold that up so they sort of meet the windows. Okay, something like that. Okay, that's the body mostly done. Okay, we're, we're actually getting somewhere. Rotate these to the back and plug them together so that makes like a back skirt. Okay, the arms should... This should go onto that little black piece there. Okay. And on this side. Okay. Sort the arms out, fine. Rotate that down, fine. Arms sort it out, fine. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Flatten these off, flatten these off, bring it down, separate that. This, I think you just need to turn around, fold this fine. 
Okay, so that's most of it done. Okay, let's leave it there and uh, fine, we'll do the legs. I don't remember enjoying the legs. Okay, all right, okay. Split. Get this, comes around, and it's a nice double hinge thing, and it should go to there somewhere. Bring it around so we can see what we're doing. Okay. That tab should go into that slot by the wheels. Get that in there. That is where the robot arm goes in. It actually goes inside the leg, which is actually a really clever way of uh, getting them to not take up space. You know, you've got two things in the same location, effectively. And I dropped my size compression. It's fine. Bring this around, and this goes into the black tab there, and that will lock the leg solid. Okay. Bring it to the front, and now we need to mess with all this. And this is where it gets... Ugh. How does this come loose now? Separate this, bring that around. And, uh, do we need to rotate that out? Sure. Fold that in. Okay. I don't know what that's for, but it's there. Then we need to bring this black piece around, which locks together. Fold that bit up, and... That should be a foot if I get this all lined up properly. Okay. Yeah, that should be a foot. So that's one leg. Done. Let's do this so you might actually be able to see. Fold this around. That tab goes into that slot there. Get that into that. That goes into this big grip here. Fold that over. It goes into there. Get this foot. We need to separate this, wriggle the ankle, bring this around. You've got to get past the actual foot, it hooks on itself. Get those to peg together, rotate this grey piece out, and then fold these up. Uh, they should just about grip in, toe a little bit, and that is another foot. And there we have. Dark of the Moon, Leader Class, Sentinel Prime in robot mode. And that was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. Okay. That's, uh... Yeah. Like I say, he's an absolute brick. But... Uh, these ankles are a little bit loose. A little bit... Or is it the knees? Not sure. I might have to... Throw some floor polish at it. You have loose joints like this to carry all the weight of something like this. It's not a good idea, is it? It's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. It's fine. Uh, hands open. <laughs> they do open. Don't want to, but they will. <laughs> there you go. Open. Wrist, wrist swivel, hinges, blah, blah, blah. They're all there. Uh, the legs actually look really nice once they're transformed. They're just awkward to get there. I still don't know what these are for. Are these jets? Are you, are you supposed to be ever so gently able to fly from two tiny little jets like that? Who knows? Got a pseudo wing of all the stuff on the back. Body's there. And I believe if I push this button here... Well, that's me told. And you know what? He's actually quite fun. He's actually quite pretty. He's actually quite nice. There's a lot of real estate between his knee and the knee plate. Uh, knee plate, but you know, fine. Okay. Uh, Leaning against the back. Look at the accessories. So we got the shield, which is a shield. And uh, if you look underneath, it's got a little flip-out handle, so we can put it in his hand, which we'll do in a minute. It's got some writing carved into it, which, you know, so what? You could put this on top of the vehicle mode, if I remember rightly, using uh, these pegs into the top there, but I don't care for it, so I forgot. Put that in his hand. We can get this, and using this hinge, we can rotate it out. And he's got his double sword thing that he used to stab Prime and stuff, because this guy was a bad guy, really. Which is, you know, weird. And he killed Ironhide quite nastily. 
Although he just stole that from Megatron from the original movie, but sure, whatever. Close that up. There we go. And he's actually... Actually quite cool. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, he's actually quite cool. Get a size comparison. Legacy drag strip. So uh, when they say leader class, they mean leader class. Uh, there's one thing I haven't done yet, which is this little gimmick, and that is, uh, well, little gimmick, you can press this giant thing here, and that happens, and uh, that's supposed to be like maybe a gun or something, I, I don't know what that is, but I, I don't think much of it, so let's not do it again. But I like the fact that he actually holds the shield. It doesn't just plug onto his arm. Although I believe you can. Yeah, stupid gimmick. You, know, you can. There are holes and ports and stuff like that. You can do it, I believe. There you go. Come on. Plug together. So you can do it if you want. Yeah, still got his hand spare. But it kind of fights for you a little bit. So you need to be careful with it. Not as much as his ankles fight you, but, you know, fine. Like, look up, like, his toes wiggle from side to side. Like, look at this hinge. Got a thing. It's all very well done, don't get me wrong, but for something this heavy, the lack of stability is not really worth being able to say, yeah, he's got ankle tilt. It's like, yeah, it's not, it's not that big a deal. I actually kind of like him, really do. Uh, I kind of like the Voyager because it's simple. Compared to this, at least. Um, but it doesn't look the part, whereas this thing looks magnificent. Like... Can't fault him, really, can you? Oh, and a scarper, because this video's gone on too long. Uh, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed some official figures. Hopefully I'll uh, get money at some point so I can buy more official figures. If you want to do my Patreon, or send money straight to my PayPal, or... You follow the Amazon link and just send something straight to me. Uh, you can pick something from there and then just... Uh, you can add other things to the basket. It's not just what's on the list. You can do what you want with that. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully we sort some stuff out. And uh, I'm going to scarf it. So, I should, be ugly, I should be wretched. And I shall see all of you in the next one. When I'm released in leader class and my knees don't work. Like they kind of don't. Toodle pip. <laughs>